What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So 100 push-ups a day. Maybe you've been enticed by the minimalistic, simplified approach to just getting down on the floor and banging out a single exercise for 100 repetitions every single day. Maybe you've been enticed by the results that people have talked about getting in as little as 30 days doing just this single exercise. Well, guess what guys? I've got a problem with this. But more importantly, I've got a better solution for you. You see, today I'm gonna to show you a better thing that you can do than 100 push-ups a day. Now I get it, you might be thinking that Jeff doesn't like the push-up. I actually love the push-up. I put it in my most recent video for the 12 exercises that everyone should be doing. My issue with the push-ups is that when you can do 30, 40, or 50 of them in a set, then you're not choosing a hard enough variation of the push-up. In order to keep the gains coming, you're gonna to wanna to try to do something with that. Choose something more difficult. We'll get to that in a second. But when we're talking about this type of approach, we're really talking about a volume approach, accruing a volume over the course of a week that's going to add up over the course of multiple weeks that's gonna take you to a new level of development. So I understand that we're gonna approach this a different way, but I still have a better way to do this. What I want you to do is think of it differently. Instead of thinking of it as doing 100 reps of a push-up over the course of a day, think of it as doing five sets of push-ups to your ability level. What that means is, five sets taking five reps short of failure. You see, when you start to do a lot of volume like this, you have to also be careful that you're not introducing some other side effects, the unwanted side effects, maybe some irritation and inflammation in your shoulders or your elbows or your wrists. So what we have to do is stop a bit short, again, five sets, five reps short of failure. And it all starts with what that looks like. Because some people actually just don't have a real appreciation for what it looks like to be stopping five reps short of failure. So here I'm demonstrating a set of push-ups. And you can see that I start to get fatigued. And we all know that common burn that we start to feel throughout our arms, up into our chest, right? We start to want to stop the exercise. But I can guarantee you, the exercise is simple enough that you can actually crank out a lot more than you might be thinking you could at this point in the game. So here I'm continuing to grind out some reps, but this right here is about five reps short for me. This would be about three reps short for me if I had continued a little bit further. And this right here is taking the set to absolute failure where I can really not even get myself up off the floor at the end. So you need to make sure that you're stopping at that first point here to really feel as if you're leaving some in the tank. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can either do all of your push-ups in one session or you can break them up over the course of the day. Now there's one plus and minus to each approach. If I were to break these up over the course of the day, I better have pretty good discipline to be able to get back down there five separate times. That being said, I'm gonna likely have the benefit of having fresher push-ups every time I do them and likely gonna be able to produce more push-ups at every single given attempt. So over the course of the week, my volume is going to be higher. And again, it's gonna be more productive volume because they're gonna be closer to that point of fatigue for me, but of course not reaching full fatigue. But it doesn't stop there because I always, as a physical therapist, have that eye towards the other side of it, right? The repercussions. We can avoid those by simply sticking to 100 or something else. You see, you can do 100, but I want you doing 100 of these. This is a Superman press out. Easily done after every single one of the five sessions that you're gonna do in the day, 20 repetitions. That's gonna add up to 100 total reps. And what this exercise does here is it A, puts you in the same position you are during your push-ups, so you don't have to really worry about changing positions at all. And what it does is it works all those oftentimes overlooked muscles of the back. Look, even the most ardent gym girl will train their lats and maybe their traps, but they're not really focusing enough on their rhomboids, or more importantly, their rotator cuff. And what that does is it leads to the postural imbalances that you oftentimes see from those that adopt these 100 push-up a day routines. We're not gonna let that happen. So with 20 repetitions done immediately following the single session of push-ups that you do, or every single set within that session that you do, we're gonna do our part to counteract those imbalances before they ever start. So again, how is this so much better than simply doing 100 reps seven times a week? Well guys, this is the problem. If you look at the number alone, you might be deceived as to the effectiveness of that simplified 100 a day approach. Number one, it's an arbitrary number. It's not gonna match the ability levels of maybe more than 3% of the people that are watching this video. Some being able to do far less than that and some being able to do far more. And in the case of the people that could do far more, let's say you're able to do 300 reps of a push-up in a given workout session. Let's say you're following a push-pull legs workout and on your push day twice a week, you do 300 repetitions. That's 600 accrued push-ups over the course of the week. If you did 100 a day here, those that advocate for this approach might say, well, that's 700, that's an increase in volume. 
But again, at such a sub-maximal level, at one third of your ability to perform this exercise in a given session, you're not gonna accrue a lot of effective volume. You just accrued more volume. With this approach here, you're gonna be able to more closely match your ability levels, allowing you to get to the point where you wanna be rather than being lumped in with everybody else. Now, if you have an infatuation with 100 push-ups, what I would suggest is you do the following. Find a more difficult version of the push-up, one that allows you to do maybe 20 max in a single session. If you're looking for more challenging variations, make sure you check out this video here where I go through 33 different variations. One is sure to match your ability level and put you in that sweet spot. The bottom line, guys, because of its simplified approach and the fact that you can do the exercise anywhere, 100 push-ups a day is definitely an intriguing option for many. However, this five-set approach that more closely matches your ability level is one that I highly recommend. If you're looking for step-by-step -step plans, guys, where we put the science back in strength, you can find them all over at athletex.com. If you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know how you do if you decide to adopt one of these routines. In the meantime, guys, if you haven't done so, click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video when we're putting one out. All right, guys, see you soon.